Have you ever wondered what all those numbers and letters mean when looking at an e-bike? Like the ones you read on a spec sheet, or the ones printed on itty bitty font on a battery or electric motor? If you've ever wondered, what does this all mean? Don't worry, you're not alone in this confusion. We're BikeBerry, and today, we'll give you a brief explanation about what all these numbers mean and how they relate to your bike's performance. Let's start by explaining what these letters mean. These letters are symbols used to represent a specific measurement of electrical energy. The three most common symbols when looking at e-bikes are V for volts, AH for amp hours, and W for watts. Volt, or voltage, also commonly referred as electric pressure, is a measured strength of electricity flowing through a circuit. To understand amp hours, let's first learn a little bit about amps. Amp, or ampere, is a measurement of how many electrons are flowing past a given point in one second. Amp hour is a unit of electric charge measured over a period of time, or in simpler terms, the potential charge capacity. Watt is the overall measurement of potential power that can be generated or used. Hopefully that helped you understand the meaning behind these numbers. This all leads us to the question, how do these numbers relate to my bike's performance? One analogy is with cars, or any other gas-powered vehicle. Think of volts as horsepower, affecting speed and acceleration, amp hours as a gas tank, affecting the riding range of each full charge, and watts as an engine size, affecting the engine's maximum power output. In general, the bigger the number, the better the performance. The higher volts increase torque and acceleration, helpful for easily reaching higher speeds and the higher watts increase the overall power of the engine, ideal for heavy loads and climbing hills. With this newfound understanding, let's look at some of the common options. There are three common volts when looking at batteries and engines. You'll easily find 24, 36, and 48 volts. If you're interested in a nice easy cruise, 24 volts is the perfect size. If higher performance is more to your liking, 48 volts will have you speeding down the street in no time. Moving on to the engine size, if you're a bicycle purist looking for a little pedal assist, 250 watts is a great compact choice. If you're really looking to climb hills or carry a large haul, larger engines like a 1000 watt have all the power you need. Finally, let's look at batteries. In general, the larger the amp hours, the longer you'll be able to ride. But keep in mind, this usually means a bigger and heavier battery. That covers just about everything you need to know when looking at e-bikes. There's a lot of options available, and a lot more to come. If you found this video useful, remember to like and subscribe. As always, we're BikeBerry, and thanks for watching.